Good. Very good. Bravo. Okay. So, Carly, did you have fun playing that? <laughs> Not much. Not much. You played very well. You're a wonderful player. She's at the beginning of her professional life. Last March, she was in high school. Right? So this is big, big moment. Right? And you're not having much fun yet. In about 20 minutes, you're going to be having a lot of fun, I promise. And for the rest of your life, you're going to have a tremendous amount of fun. OK, you, you, you're willing okay. to believe that? OK. Yes. Because this music is a, a deep expression of joy and exuberance and for the glory of God, right? So I would be willing to believe, to bet, that some of the people in the room were listening to you more intelligently than they would have if we hadn't just gone through that thing with Amanda. Because it's the same kind of music. Right? Did anybody find yourself listening for, for the, you, you did, great. So let's do the same thing, we'll do it. We can do it quite quickly because it's actually a simpler piece. The D minor is much, much more complicated and actually more controversial. This actually isn't at all controversial. Come a little closer and let's do this passage. Do you remember the passage where I discovered that A in the bass uh, when she was playing and it built and it built? This is the equivalent here where you do this G. It's so obvious what it is, isn't it? It's somebody playing a, a G in a, in a cathedral and filling the cathedral with sound. Can you just do that? Start from the right. exciting I mean this music you're building and building and building if you find it could you inform your face about being excited because the moment it looks as though you you know little da, little da, it's it's so through and and the sound of the instrument I mean, it wasn't written for a viola but a cello a viola is the same if you can get a little bit more and I'll tell you something very interesting about this the first two bars <laughs> This moment, there's a there's a sequence starting. That's the see. You get that? Can you bring that down? So two bars and then the sequence begins. Can you take a little time to help the ear because otherwise they won't know the sequence is beginning. Now. Right, that is tremendously exciting. Imagine playing that in a big cathedral. How you would just make the most enormous sound. That will give you the tempo for the piece. That, that's the right feeling. It's the right tempo. So when you begin, same tempo. That's the tempo. And what he's doing here, like he was doing in the D minor, he's saying C. So C, da, 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 D, I meant to C. Just do that. C. Yeah, I wouldn't stop along the way at all. D, da, 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 D, I meant to Sorry, D, da, 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 D, I meant to C. Right, 
that's right. And you're right to take a little time on the C to make sure that everybody knows it's the most important. But don't take too long on it. It's like water going over the... Right. Now, what happens now? You're to C, and then it goes again to C, and then it's saying, hello, I'm in C. Can we try that? And then to C. To C. C. Good. That's right. It's like a calling card. It's say, like, hello, hello, I'm, I'm C. Right. Now, you arrive on the C, but you took so much time on the C that you couldn't re reproduce it. <laughs> you went... Right, so, so here... B. O. D. A. Then to G. Right, so just do from, do it one more time for the time. And could you be, could you pretend you're having a great time? <laughs> It would be great. Say hello, everybody. This is the greatest music ever. <laughs> are, you, are you worried? Are you nervous? This is the first time. Yeah. No. Don't, there's no need to be nervous no. because you're, you're a priest. You've got something to tell. Imagine if the priest went out and said, well, I'm, I'm not quite sure what I should say. I mean, I'm... Yeah. <laughs> no, he's got to say it. I have a dream. Here we go. <laughs> Good. Now, and then it goes to C. The trouble is, if you do that with that long C. Then you have to do da 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 So only take as long as you could as you can reproduce it when you get to the B, right? So C. that I'm playing you the rhythm very straight because there's nothing in this music to suggest romantic pulling around it's just isn't it it's just Chords. And even, it isn't even every bar, it's every other bar. <laughs> Isn't 
that nice? It's just very simple because it's building up to such an enormous climax. So would you do from here? <laughs> Go, 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 go. Now, sequence. That's like in the D minor, that long delay when finally it arrives. And I would suggest, this is up to you, it's completely personal, but I wouldn't let the tension get down until you finally reach that C major. But now the piece is beginning to have sense. It's beginning to have an architectural shape. The audience can follow it because it's all in one tempo and you're not delaying over certain notes so much that it stops the impulse. Because the idea is to create a tremendous sense of motion, of exuberance, of joy for the glory of God. That's what it's about. All right. So let's just build that final climax one more time. Say from, uh, you can't do the whole thing, but if you do from here, I do, you know, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. and keep it going all the way. And when you finally get to the, so that everybody in the audience says, we're home. All right, from there. Or do from here, I do, I do, I do, I do. Yeah, already you've lost it. So keep the energy, keep it. Now we got it. And don't kick the notes, just water, de -do 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 -do, the way you would do it on a keyboard. Should we try one more time? And you're going to make it more and more exciting. You know, there's something wonderful about energy because it, it gets other people engaged. Energy is contagious. If you have energy, they'll have energy. And that's the secret of those great musicians like, like uh, Rostropovich and Yo-Yo and all those people. They have tremendous energy. And people say, that's what I want, that's what I want, that's what I want. So that now this afternoon you're going to be leading 16 violas. Right? So they need your energy and your joy and your excitement and your passion and your desire mm -hmm. right, to get to that sea. I want to get to see, I want to get to see, I want to get to see, I want to get to see! <laughs> All right, here we go, from there. <laughs> Um, 
comes. that chord in the other piece you know when it suddenly went down to the G and the, it's the same thing it's exactly the same and then there's a huge pause and then right should we do that that was great do from C and as it goes up G each one is more and more and more and more and more. Right, here we go. Yeah, I want to remind you of something. Bach had 20 children. Let's do it again. Here we go. Wait. <laughs> Bravo, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. You know, there's physical energy, there's emotional energy, and there's spiritual energy. Physical energy, we know what that is, just to play. Emotional energy is to care and love and be passionate about it. And spiritual energy is about taking people on a journey to a place they've never even dreamed of. And that's what this music does. So now, imagine that when you leave this room, this is a very sad story I'm about to tell you, you're going to go out on the street and a car is going to come and knock you over and kill you. Right? And it's going to be very, 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 very sad. And we're going to send a letter to your parents who say, I'm really, really sorry, Carly. We lost Carly today. But you should have heard her play the first movement. <laughs> Brilliant. It was unbelievable. So could you play that way? And could you always play that way? <laughs> you know, when you go into the orchestra today, you've got 16, 15 other violists who need you, who want you. They've been waiting all week for you. No, they've been waiting for me. Actually, they've been waiting for Marla. Actually, they've been waiting for, for full life is what they've been. Do you understand that? Saturday afternoons for the youth orchestra. It's just, it's like this guy, Raul. Raul got up this morning, four o'clock. Yeah. You left New York, right? And you drove here. Why? For this, right? For this. Whatever it is we are giving, Raul got in the morning, up in the morning for four o'clock. And so we cannot hold back. You get that? Because Raul, we've got to keep Raul awake. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep him away. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. Now, this is all about Raoul. This isn't about you at all. And if you have to look at the music, fine, but you don't really need to look at the music. Right. Okay, can you hear yeah. me? Come, come, come. Right. And just think before you start, what a journey this is. You know, till we're going to get to that end. Oh, my God, that end is going to storm at the gates of heaven. Have you ever been there? Gates of heaven? No, well, you're just about to take 100 people there and 10,000 people out in the world and maybe 100,000 or 200 or 500. Or th Isn't that exciting? Does that get you up in the morning? <laughs> Think about that. You know Jacqueline Dupre. You remember Jacqueline Dupre. I've told this story, but you know, it's so wonderful. She was five years old. She was a year old, a year younger than that kid. She was playing the cello 
in a competition. And she was so excited. She was running down the corridor like this. And one of the mothers said, well, I can see that you've played. She said, no, I'm just about to. <laughs> that great? I'm just about to. She was five. She was so excited. How are you feeling now? <laughs> excited. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Raul is going to have the experience of his lifetime. <laughs> He's never going to forget this, right? He won't need the plane. Did you drive? You drive. You're great. <laughs> Fantastic. OK, here we go. All right, here we go. Don't think about your left hand. Think about Raoul. You're great, you're great, and they're saying they're, they're really great. Your playing is for them. And any way you can communicate, whatever, body, eyes, heart, breath, closeness is what we're about. I couldn't get, I couldn't get you, I was helping you, but I couldn't get enough from you. So that's the next thing for you. I mean, you're on a fantastic path. 
and, and you've got the greatest teacher and you're in a wonderful town and you're playing in a great youth orchestra, it's going to be fantastic. <laughs> the only thing missing at this point is your open heart. Do you get that? Just open your heart to people like Raoul, he, he would come from Japan to hear you. <laughs> it was just New York this morning. <laughs> Do you get that? I don't think musicians realize how powerful they are. I just say they, they have any idea how much power we musicians have. People do ridiculous things for music, like getting up in the morning at four o'clock and saying, I gotta get to Boston. I, isn't that amazing? I mean, isn't that exciting? It really is exciting. If you could get that, and when you're practicing, think of Raoul, look at his face. <laughs> isn't that great? I mean, look at him. He's just, you should have a picture of Raoul on your practice. <laughs> 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 you get it. Look, this is our first, we've never met before. This is our first meeting and we're going to spend the whole year together. And we're going to go on tour and we're going to, it's going to be fantastic. <laughs> but this is the beginning of a journey, of an open-hearted journey. It's going to be spectacular. Well done. Bravo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>